This is Whaley, page 50. I'm going to set the metronome for 102. So we're tuned to B flat and F, so you have a perfect fifth. If you want to sing the interval, it's the first two notes of Twinkle Twinkle Little Star. So the first, uh, the first two lines essentially are one long decrescendo from fortissimo down through measure two, three, four, five, six, all the way down to piano at measure seven. For the rolls, you want to roll enough to get the tone of the drum and not a rhythm, but not so fast that it, uh, it sounds poundy. So, uh, so you essentially you want to roll as slow as you can get away with. So at, at the, about the tempo we're going, a half note roll. It's kind of like a six tablet. Right, and that's, and, that's, and that's smooth enough. Just make sure you have a nice loose wrist motion and keep it smooth. Um, so we're at fortissimo here. Nice big sound, but not pounding the sound into the drums, drawing the sound out of the drums. Measure five, there's a printing error. The uh, beat three doesn't have the flag. It should be one, a two, three, a four. Then in measure six, I'm going right, left, left, right, left. Remember on timpani, as often as you can, you want to alternate. You want to avoid doing double stickings as often as possible. You always want to alternate if you can. Then you can choose to do it or not. I'm doing a muffle at the end of that bar so that I set up a clean piano for the next section. So. Right, and remember to muffle right where you're hitting, right? So don't hit here and then try to muffle out here. So strike and muffle in the same location. Right, so the first phrase again. Especially if you're using a 29 and a 26, this F is very high in the range of the 26, and that note is really going to sing out. So you have to balance the low drum. Uh, you have to bring the low drum up just a little bit to balance that out. Okay, so next phrase, now we're at piano. Um, 16th notes, fast roll, and then uh, 7, 8, uh, measure 9. I'm playing that last 16th note with my right hand so that my left hand is open to start the roll in the next bar. to their releases on the high drum and crescendo. Then for the last three eighth notes, I'm starting with my right hand, right, left, right, and then I'm open for the next bar. Mute. Then for the next 
text bar, we have all these upbeats. You can choose how to do this. You can either mute between all the upbeats or just play the staccato. So if you were going to mute, you might go. If you're just going to play the staccato. Right, either way, either way works. You can also play them all with one hand and mute with the other. when you do that then. Uh, then we have some uh, half note rolls. Remember this whole passage is piano, so you have to play articulately so that we hear the rhythm. Don't play muddy. Right, you want to play nice and articulate. Just quietly at piano. Um, four lines from the bottom here, uh, this measure, so we have one and two and three, and then I'm starting the next measure with my left hand, left, right, left, right, left, right on the roll. So I'm playing, uh, I'm single stroking, alternating, so starting with my left hand. crescendo, essentially, uh, essentially three bars. Um, this three, four bar, uh, la last line from the bottom, uh, or second line from the bottom, the three, four bar at the end of the bar, again, is missing a little uh, 16th note flag. One, two E and a three, a one and, and two E, uh, one E and a two, one, uh, three, and, right, and there should be a little slur on the roll there, right, so just a couple of printing errors there. And then for the final lick, uh, so half note roll, 